Welcome to another day in my life. All day long, I've been having the worst heartburn. Actually, since last night, I have no idea what in the world. Wow, look at that hair. Just look at that. Can you go this way? Okay. Um, last night, I have yet to have heartburn throughout this pregnancy, right? Like I haven't had it like maybe here and there on like the occasion, but it's literally for like five minutes and then it's gone. No, last night, horrible. I actually ate maybe like three quarters of a tum. I still have the rest <laughs> over here, <sighs> but I've never had heartburn in my life. There it is. Um, I've never had heartburn in my life. So I like, don't feel like I really need tums. Like, it's just like, I can suck it up for a little while, you know? The last night is hitting me and I haven't had it throughout my whole pregnancy. So I don't know if it's like hitting me out of the blue and it's just like, okay, here you go. What you didn't have, now you're gonna have times 10. It really is not pleasant. Like Trevor had heartburn. Well, he's had heartburn for as long as I know. I've always been like, it's like probably not even that bad. Cause he'd like complain at night. And then he drinks like, he takes like two to three times a night and he's like, oh, my heartburn. And I'm like, hmm, are you being a baby? <laughs> and, <laughs> oh no, the pain, it's really understandable. Like I can 100% agree that it's not pleasant at all, especially like when I'm getting ready for bed, like what is this? Like the longest trimester of my life. We're also, I think in the third trimester. I say, I think because on our last appointment, she was measuring kind of like a week ahead than what we had established. And since my cycles are all over the place, like I just kind of made up a, you know, last cycle date because I'm like, I literally do not know because it just comes whenever. And I'm, that's the last thing I was, I was thinking about. Like I wasn't thinking about getting pregnant. <laughs> so from our initial one, it changed two days. And then my following appointment, I was measuring to be 20 weeks and a few days when I was only 19 weeks and a day. So I don't know exactly how far along I am, but anywho, I'm not going to worry about it because I don't really believe that at the 40 week mark you're supposed to have your baby i feel like the baby's gonna come whenever it's gonna come sooner or later um she'll come into the world whenever she feels ready to get out of the oven <laughs> we just got done doing a lot of work we've been sitting all day long i need to go to the grocery store so we're gonna walk to the grocery store i also would like to clarify that i do change i really do i've showered i got ready this morning <laughs> but i have been wearing this like what seems to be the same exact outfit for these past three like videos that I've put out. I swear I've changed. It's just this is like the only sweater that fits me and yeah I mean what, what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna go buy more sweaters because I know this isn't forever and look look how much room I have to grow in this still so it'll be fine but guys I do shower. I have changed. Like, I'm not <laughs> just wearing the same thing. Well, I am wearing the same thing, but yeah, anywho, whatever. Just just wanted to clarify. And we made it back. That took literally a total of uh, 10 minutes. What took about six minutes was the waiting. <laughs> so what we needed to get though was <sighs> some hamburger bread and the grapes looked really good, which I'm really surprised because usually produce over here Never is the greatest. You better eat it in one day or else you're, it's donezo. But these look pretty dang good, don't they? Not too shabby. This is the current progress of putting in flooring. We still have to rip out this carpet and the rest of that. But besides that, I'd say it's looking pretty good. We have this to rip up left, but we're just gonna leave it for the guy who's gonna come put the flooring in. This is some peel and stick that I actually put on the floor when I just wanted to do like a cheap little fixer up because I was tired of seeing this brown 1950s thing. This like brown tile, whatever it is, is super hard to get off. So Trevor just said he's just gonna leave it for the guy to take it off. And then this carpet is completely off as well. The stairs, no carpet there. We just have the rest. But yeah, it's gonna look good. I'm excited to get the flooring in. For now, I just have to live the next two days like this and it's low-key driving me insane <laughs> but oh, I don't know I'm, I, I was ready for it I was so ready to get rid of this carpet and rid of this couch and rid of the bathroom literally just a little bit of everything so I'm a little excited to say the least
another vlog. It is currently 6 30 a.m. I woke up at 5 a.m. actually because I filmed a PR on Boston at 5 in the morning, which I don't think that video is up yet. Good morning! We are out to get a little bit of a donuts today. I've been craving a chocolate cake sprinkle donut now for a good two weeks and I'm like maybe it's just time to go get one. So anywho, that's what we're gonna do. Well, that's what we're doing. <laughs> 254 you say? Okay. Well, there you go. I think we're good to go. Oh, okay, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Have a good one. I'm excited. Anywho, we're home now. We got our donuts, but we're gonna have a healthier breakfast so I don't just spike up my sugar levels, you know? <laughs> Yesterday, I couldn't sleep. Baby girl was moving everywhere, and this is her schedule. Starting to get that 11.30 mark to 12 and one, She's like wild. She's like having a party in there while I'm trying to snore and we just don't align. <laughs> and then in the mornings, she'll start again around like three, sometimes four, five. And so yeah, yesterday we did not get good sleep, but last night was phenomenal. <laughs> I feel like I, as soon as like my head hit the pillow, I was out. Like but I, I was literally out. <laughs> Why doesn't anybody like warn you about the third trimester hormones? Like I thought I was over that. Like I thought that was just like a first trimester thing, you know, when you're trying to get your body used to, whoa, 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 to whatever's going on. No, I feel like it hits you way harder in your third trimester. And last night we had a little bit of a moment to there. And I don't know, like I, I will be perfectly fine all day. And then if somebody asks me what's wrong, I'm like bawling. And I'm like, I don't even know what's going on. It's like my life is perfect right now. So. Where's I at? Anywho, I'm gonna eat because I'm hungry. Actually, I, I more so want a donut, but you know. Mm. We need to do a to-do list. Like I said yesterday, the guys are gonna come tomorrow to put the flooring in, get the bathroom started. So the first thing that I need to do, okay, that I want to do is clean like our bathroom. And then to clean our bedroom because the house is a disaster and I feel like I just need one area of the house to not be a mess. And then, okay, so for the guest bathroom, I really need to declutter and take everything out basically. Whatever's under the vanity, what's in the shower and on top of like the vanity and stuff like that. And let's see, the laundry room. We need to do all laundry today. So that way we don't have to stress. I don't have to stress about it piling up and since they're also putting the flooring in the laundry room, let's just do it now and get rid of stuff from there. I need to clean the kitchen. That will more so be like a nightly thing. So it's like nice and clean for tomorrow morning, but I think that's it. So it's gonna be a fairly busy morning. And I also need to do other work things. We'll get there. I'm done with breakfast. I feel like it's been enough where I won't get grossed out if I go in the bathroom. <laughs> I have like this weird thing where like my food or my drinks or anything cannot be near the bathroom air. Like I like to think that it stays there and it doesn't come over here. Anywho, it takes me like a minute to like really like get into my cleaning. After I eat, we're gonna watch Buying Beverly Hills while I clean. Sometimes I like to watch shows that um is really out of like my type of lifestyle. Like there is no way in the world I could ever live in a city. 
um especially like beverly hills is that like in i was gonna say florida it's not florida it's california like los angeles or something like that but sometimes i look at these people like what they have and what they buy i'm like that's not a lot of cleaning and then i think about it, i'm like they're not even cleaning it like they they can afford somebody to come and clean their house <laughs> Welcome to Rexford Drive. Interestingly, it was originally owned by Edward G. Robinson, a silent film actor back in the day. So a lot of cool history here. Why don't we take you into the living room? We can start there. So many things. I'm very close to the Umansky family. There's my best friend. I stay with her whenever I come to California. Oh, third class. Uh, so we're done cleaning the bathrooms, the bedroom, well, the bathroom and the bedroom and it looks so much nicer but don't be fooled guys my house does not look like that look at kennedy's room there's her room then there's this and then well i i, I i'm too embarrassed to show you that <laughs> we are gonna take a slight little break we're gonna finish watching this buying beverly hills which actually is not that bad of a show like sometimes i don't like these shows because it's just too much drama and i really am not that i don't know into it <sighs> but that's what we're gonna do eat one of my donuts drink some water and then we'll get back to it so the break took a slight turn and a little longer than expected um my mother-in-law actually stopped by surprise stopped by so then that took a, a little bit of my time and then afterwards i was like oh my gosh i was like i have to get a lot of stuff cleaned i had to get the bathroom cleaned out just so in the morning i'm not like stressed out about it and so it's like nice and clean for them so they can like get here, get everything started and not have to wait for me. So I did not film any of it. I'm sorry. I was just like on fast speed mode there for a minute. But anywho, we are getting ready for bed. Got a nice hot shower and going to read my baby wise book. So <sighs> we're calling it a day and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.